Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Wildemyth. Last time we left off, we successfully repelled an incursion. There's two more things it seems like I need to do over here, but like I said, I think I can just kind of move towards this. This is the final chapter, so I don't have to worry about like scouting every tile and fixing everything, basically, so... <clears throat> I think we can build a pass to access the lands beyond, so we will scout like that one, carve a pass, let's get started. So who is best at this? Curry is bad at it specifically, Jovan can help instead. And then, yeah, Rumwar is not good at it, and Curry is not good at it, so that's Fine. I was actually about to say I'm gonna send them to scout this tile, but this. Yeah, this they'll they'll get ambushed if I do that. Um, I don't need to really recruit uh, recruit recruit anyone either. So let's um build the pass. Um, things are definitely getting infested, but I don't feel like we need to prolong this anymore. Really. Like I said, I could level some of the characters up, but it doesn't feel super needed. The main thing would be if we got some like cool opportunities and things like that, but it doesn't feel strictly necessary since it is the final one here. Uh, Yeah, sure, go over there. Kati's going to be our only one. Let's see, this is just the next Calamity card. We have plenty of time until the next Incursion, which is what I mostly want to avoid. Uh, Assault Trimmoor Converge. It's just lurking more thoggy. Yeah, we can. Oh god, we really don't need this many warriors. Um, I mean, I guess we can do it, but <laughs> yeah, did not mean need that many warriors. Twisting Path takes uh them up to the high hills and finally into the company of the local peaks. Read that in. Out there makes me remember things. Does it? First time I went anywhere by myself, there's this mountain path. Tough climb, but I reached this beautiful crystal pond. Rainwater, I think. I went there whenever I wanted to be alone. Winter, the water was gone. Spring brought flowers, summer blackberries. For 20 paces, the only sound is the scrape of their feet on rough granite. You have to tell me more later. Look at this. We know our direction? The way forks. One path leads higher to the top of a precarious cliffside. The other path curves downward under the shadow of high rocks. Hmm. Looks like a cottage. I might see some wreckage down there. Might be salvageable. I want to go to the cottage. Any people? Chimney smoke? Might be out and about. It's under walking here. Path sticks narrow to the turnings of the mountain. They climb and cross along the wind-carved rock. Now look down, Ardana. You're fine. You're fine. Watch your step, love. Ugh. Wouldn't mind a break. My legs are killing me. Reminds us, however strong we get, we can always improve. You're the absolute worst. <laughs> Shut up for a second, they're li not likely to enjoy loud mouths. Neatly piled cabin smells like sweet grass. Its lacquered logs look strong, well tended. Hello, anyone home? Distant hawk speaks up. Besides birds and wind, there's only silence. Donna stoops through. Is there any- oh. Fancy morning! Would you like pork rust with your tea, or are you a coffee woman? Griddle cakes aplenty! Rums of sizzling pork rust, hot oil, and floral tea sing in the nose. These cabin walls enclose a cozy, lived-in lair for one. Chairs and root stools around a rose table for space for hungry company. Can always make griddle cakes aplenty. Those saying otherwise are spewing slander. We'll spew some slander slugs. I'll have a- wait, sorry. Who are you? We were just passing by the- me? Who am I? We were just passing by the with no intention of intruding. Me, who am I? They call me... The Witch of the Mountain. She throws a sack of flour over her shoulder. But I'm alright with Kimwit. Kimwit Bottle is what I was born as. I'm a mischief maker, mostly. I guess my hairdo says that clear enough. Anyway, mischief's not all I make. Famously, I also make wonderful golden brown griddle cakes. Mm. I'm actually considering going to go get a waffle after this, so this sounds very nice. For those who solve my bone bison puzzle. The bone bison puzzle is about to commence. Um, oh, the bone bison puzzle is just, oh, I have to fight a bunch of things. Um, uh, 
Kim, wait, why? Also, you're 102. Um, strike, necrotic hawk staff, five damage, two range. Kill all enemies. Okay, this is just a battle. I just got tricked into a fight. Damn it, Kim Wit. Damn it, Kim Wit. I, I thought we were cool. You know, I thought I thought we had something going here. Now I've got to stab you. Oh, you blocked it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of spooky because um, that's a lot of pretty strong enemies right there. Four range on the scalding rain. Uh, oh yeah, I can only use it on one character. That always sucks. There you go. Um, Ardana, if you could reach some Quelling Moss over there without causing problems for the rest of our characters, that would be fantastic, but... Doesn't look like you are able. Who's gonna move first? One of the sommelier? My jump jaws do seven true damage, so one of them is dying to that. Um... I'm gonna get you behind Yovan, and then have you throw a Quelling Moss. So that's you dead to poison. Unfortunately, the Bash Bee blocked it, which is not what I wanted. Uh, let's get... Okay, that's Amelia dodged it. That's annoying. Um, I would like to kill the Bash Bee, if possible. Do as much damage to it as we can. Okay, has two HP left. Just straight up fly. We do have the ability to do that, so... How about... Since fly is basically free... Hmm, I want that Sommelier to still die, though. Do we have a... You're the last one going, Oral. So... I could just get right here and kill it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if only I could just fly to the destination I need to be, which is like right here. That would be ideal, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to do some of that. Good. Well. Um, I guess lesson learned, don't come up onto a mysterious cottage in the mountains. We've actually found ourselves in a little bit of a hairy situation in this one. Uh, things got a little out of hand with, uh, all of the enemies here. Uh, I do have eight poison down on the coachman. I'm kind of worried about this watchman as well. It would be fantastic if I could blind you. Thank you. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So with that, now I can just attack you. We still have to worry about the Watchmen. The one I'm worried about is Yovan, because Yovan's in kind of a bad spot here. That luckily dies. Okay, you're just going to do a charge throw. That's fine. There we go. That's that's totally A-OK. -okay. And you took the damage from the thing. Okay. Yeah, Ardana's jump jaws because of uh, because of what we have, like how high how high potency we have is absurd. Like it's crazy how much damage we actually do. All right, yeah, I think we're I think we're 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 pretty fine now. Luckily, things were looking a little bit sketch there, but luckily. It seems like the coachmen, rather than just do their, like, little saw blade attack, which is very scary, they really, really like to do the, um, the charge. And it's not nearly as terrifying. So, it's quite useful, I would say, that they never do the scary one. Bye-bye. And then... I shoot you. You're dead. We're hidden. You lose your bone link. And yeah, we just win. All right, cool, cool, cool. Very, very neato. Poison? I'll fan apply your to your weapon as an action. Apply poison. Applies two poison to your weapon. It will be delivered by your next attack. Poison enemies will take true damage. Usable twice per mission as a swift action. Hmm. 
that could be neat on someone. Hathi's hands are full. Yeah, we'll salvage it for a spell thread. That is good, though. I'll have to keep in mind that later uh, in other playthroughs. Kimwood Bottle, Witch of the Mountain, drops back against her furniture. Go on, Firk. You all right? She pops back up. Oh, sorry, yeah. Wanted to give you a bit of an elongated victory thing. You got all the bone bites. Hmm. Unscathed for the most part, though, aren't you? Feels anticlimactic. Uh, can we go? Or are you, I mean, what do we even accomplish? I earned a sample of one of my mountain recipes, of course. How hungry are you? Choose carefully, for in my waywardness and my gross olive-hearted way, I've designed that each delicious delectogram deliver a different delight. Plus four retirement age for all party members is good. Not that it's needed now. Uh, my griddle cakes will fill you with lasting warmth. My tea and oats, which packs a lifelong kick in the seat. Or would you like the last of the pork rust for yourself? Plus two health, Ardana only. Extra speed on all of my party members seems good. While they eat mugs of tea and oats, Kimwood gives a brief account of how she ended up in the mountain, persecuted, robbed, run out of ten towns. She retreated to this high home where eccentricities and frequent mischief would only bother those who blundered into her domain. And at that point, aren't we all fair game? Here, I splice my spirit with the elemental presences of hill, rock, and tree. Here I never rest, for there are so many joys still left untried. And though I've slowed death, she never fully stops. Oh, death, you dauntless dancer of mist, you darling, you dream. She goes on for a while yet. They bid the Witch of the Mountain goodbye. They take a swift way down by her direction. Out there, huh? Really, you get too much. You can get too much. Their dealings with the Witch of the Mountain don't go unmarked. The locals tell sour stories about the Crusader, the famous Scarab, and their deeds for years afterwards. Oh, no! I see, but, I mean, everybody got a bunch of things, but, yeah, we lose legacy points for that. Unfortunate, but that's a permanent upgrade. Okay. I kind of want to save as many legacy points as I can, because we did get some benefits at the end for the legacy points last time I learned, yeah? Alright, let's scout this. Also, you two... Gather over here. I probably want Rummore in this fight. Rummore and Kati, possibly? So we can get those free, uh... Free burning attacks. Simthenwild has been revealed. Foggy are infesting. Yep. Okay, so... Who do I want to send in? I think... I would like to drop... Yovan. And bring in Rumor instead, but I think this is my this is my five. I think out of you know this chapter, these are these are my five my five ones I like the most. Kati's been in a lot of storytelling stuff. Oral's just super cool. Evaner's kind of impactful. Ardana's definitely my favorite. rumor has been in a ton of stuff and is very important. So let's go attack. Oh yeah, we just gotta wait for Rumor to get over here. Excuse me. There we go. The time has come. When we stand as one force, one vision. And scrape this curse off of our land for good. Blades and wits sharp, ready yourselves. 23 heartwoods, 13 hides, 17 ingots, 22 fabrics, 9 spell threads. So yeah, it wants me to upgrade my stuff. Um, what do I actually want to upgrade? Rumor, can I give you some better armor? I can indeed. So, extra spell damage, extra stunt chance. I do think I want to do that. Rumor needs the better armor. He's been squishy in a lot of these fights. For that reason. Uh, as far as everything else goes, though... I can't upgrade your Fire Spear... Oral, which could be quite good. Um, we also have your Leaf Rapier, but I can only upgrade one of these, mind. So, let's upgrade you. Yep, Shade Titan Spear. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to upgrade much of anything else, yeah. Because you need the spell threads for a lot of the higher level things. Yeah, unfortunately. So, yeah. And the elemental things, of course. Okay, I think we're pretty much done there, because everybody has level 2 armor. 
most everybody that I can get has level 3 weapons. Yeah. No offhand stuff to give anybody, because you can't really use anything offhand. So... I mean, I could, I could like, give you an offhand by, like, giving you a one-handed weapon and then creating an offhand, but... We'll go. We'll go. I had been prepared to pay a price for the form I took, a price of flesh and breath. But it cost more than that, it cost peace. It cost the person I loved most, and no Rainy and I never spoke again. Perhaps the rest of this can still be put right. In the days when the flood of Morthagi had slowed to a trickle, Ardana was able to locate openings in the cliffs. I've seen a lot of things in my life. This is a whole new sort of thing. Those pipes. The fact that they're almost beautiful makes them all the more unnerving. With stone and iron and bone closing in, I can feel unlucky to be made of softer things. But we have strength of our own. Which should not be underestimated. Yeah! Alright. Ooh, interesting music. Explore the tunnels. Okay, and then there's gonna be a giant boss fight down there, probably. Okay. Um, Oral? You can fly. And... Stab? Okay, and you can whirl and move even more. God, Oral's just so cool. So much mobility and everything over a lot of the other characters. Okay. You two can kind of wall together. I don't want to, like, aggro the enemies too early here. So let's just see what we can take care of. I do like this squad a, a lot. I feel like Oral is definitely going to be a character that I would want to bring in. Ardana as well, too, obviously. Uh, I actually want you to be hidden. Which unfortunately does move you back, but... Alarm. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh... The Spectre can be killed pretty easily, I think. Just with Evaner moving, like, right here. Okay, there's a Watchman. Uh, you can kill it, Evaner. Which means now you'll go into Paladin. Hmm. There's not even anything really interesting for me to ignite. Or do any- or interfuse with, rather, not ignite. I can ignite this debris right here. Unfortunately, that also means we would have to run through it. But, I think that'll be fine. Uh, could set up some jump jaws. Don't really know that I need them. Ooh, I could almost kill you. Who else would potentially be able to get in there? Oral could. Oral probably can... You could fly to there, which I... No, you'd have to fly to right here, so I don't actually think you can. Never mind. Let's just wall. You can't fly this turn anyway, actually, so... All of that is, uh... Not important. It's gonna barely live. Which is annoying, but... We'll be fine. Yeah, we lost one armor. For that. Uh... Hello. I'm really glad we have the skunk spray, because... Oh, well that did basically nothing. Um, Fire Lash, though. Let's kill the Spectic. There we go. Next time I have someone that has the ability to create, like, burning arrows and stuff, I definitely need to go out of my way to get them, uh... The one thing. Uh... You know, the thing. Um... Ignite so that they can ignite their stuff and be interfused with it and everything. I'm saving my throw axes right now. Because, uh... I want to save my stuff for whatever much more dangerous thing is definitely up there. There we go. Good. Your dad, the Spectic's gonna work their way over here. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, just a bunch of sommelier. I can kill those fairly easily. All right, let's see. Ardana, you could get right here. I should be able to just throw down some Quelling Moss on them. Ah, uh, they have just barely too much HP. The Bashby dodged it. Annoying. Uh, get right there, Evaner. Ooh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and use some of these. So now these two are dead. And we just need to focus on killing the Bashby. This music is very, very distressing. Let's see, that does that much, this does this much. Okay. Definitely gonna stick with this. Ooh, and I got the blind. There you go. Uh... One more. Let's see, if I move you right there... Kati... Can you do... Because the, the Bashby will be able to hit one of these characters if I move them. If I move them there. Let's move Kati right here. Bone Lance, Shackle. I think the Bone Lance is what I want to hit you. Oh, that's gonna hit Evan or two. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Don't like that. Maybe I just have Rumor uh, go into the rubble over here. Do a little bit of shackle action. You're gonna be pinned, but it's not gonna matter because you're gonna you're just gonna grab what's your face anyway. Could make a bone wall. Wall the spectic in. I don't think we need to though. Is there anything more interesting I can hit with you? Because these two are gonna die to poison. Like I said, I could do this, but I'm kind of scared this, there's a chance this is just going to hit Evaner for the much higher damage and not really hurt the Bashby that much. It's not going to die anyway, so... The Bashby is blind, so I'm significantly less afraid of it. Oh, really? Interesting. I thought one of you would have gotten it, but it managed to just walk around Evaner's uh, stuff. Uh, get in there. Oh, guards? What now? Oh, wait, it's you! We promised aid after you- after all you had done for us and we keep our promises. Millie sent her regards. Hey! We got support! I got two bellhops and beller. Where's, uh, what's- what's his face? Um... Yoti? Yoti? Is that it? Joe, Joe, just Joe. That's right. Um. Well, I can. Heck. And then you also take damage, which is incredibly busted that that happens. And then kill you. God, that is so good. Then I can fly. Good. I guess I could have also just moved. I didn't really need to do the fly. Because now it's on cooldown. Which is not great. Alright, well we got some bellhop friends. Go ahead and get in there. See what we can see. We are at 30 minutes on this video, but I did cut some out. I do have somewhere to be soon. Which kind of worries me. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now that we have done that... We can move everybody up a wee bit more. Everybody get in there. Yeah, I wish I knew how much I actually cut out earlier. Um, in that one battle. I want to say it was no more than like 5 or 10 minutes, which... Depending on how, how long it was, would put the video at a very, very low length. 
which I don't want. But I do also have to be somewhere. But we can probably walk right in and take out this boss fairly easily and in the chapter, so... We'll do that. Worry about that there. It's always the problem with uh, cutting stuff out sometimes, is like, yeah, sometimes I only have limited time to record and stuff. Beller, uh, you can open a door, right? Uh, get in there. As Romor reached for the door, its eyes snapped onto him and it groaned open by itself. Oh dear. Could be debated whether the heaving multi-part construction before them was alive, but it doesn't- but it wouldn't matter. Life was a quaint concept in this place. The more thoggy core, shuddering pipes and pounding gears fill your brain to bursting. Inside his glass chambers, an infernal stew of bones and gears turns out new forms. Ugh. And then there's a coachman in here as well. Oh, no. Destroy the three cores. More thoggy will be coming. Uh, okay. Ooh, I can skunk sprays twice from here. Oh my god, this tail is amazing. Boom, that's eight poison. This thing only has 13 HP, so... Get in there, bellhop. And... 69% chance to grapple the coachman. It can't be pinned, though. I can 100% chance grapple the Bashby. Okay, it's grappled. Uh, can we get into a position to actually do anything here? Not particularly. How's this barrage look? Um, there's a ch I will be- I will be hitting some of my own characters. Which I don't like. Mm. Yeah, we just need some better spots. Ignite. Ooh, can I ignite that one? Ooh, I can! Beautiful. There we go. And then, uh, I can fire lash both of them. Ah, oh, that's good. That debris was in a perfect spot. Um, I just realized it's, uh, oh, I saw the Y down there. Huh. I haven't honestly noticed the hotkeys for a lot of these things before. I mean, obviously they had them, but I've, I've never really paid too much attention to it. But God, yeah, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of hotkeys down there. I was thinking for a second it, it was like taking uh, inputs from my controller, basically. Is why I was initially confused there. Alright, get in there. Grapple it! Yes! Grapple, my babies, grapple! Okay, this is dead. It has 16 poison. So yeah, it's, it's boned. That thing. Um... I wanna move you up here, Evaner. So you'll be close to one of those things. Now, Oral, I could have you, it's, it's got 16 poison. Um, could I fly anywhere? Interesting, not really. Let's see. If I do this, I can peck you, but I can stab you, so let's do that. My broad strokes, so good. Uh, Beller, there's not really much you can do. Let's just get you over here in Bone Link. Okay, you are dead. You are dead. Construct a nurse. Scan? Nurse, that's new. Ow, acid jet. I should have paid attention to what they can do. Construct nurse. Scan. Hmm. Okay, a bash bee just came in. Uh, okay. This music is so creepy. Uh, there we go. Poison the core. That is fantastic. Um, let's just have you grapple the watchman. Okay, now we can get Kati in here, and Kati can help a little bit more. Uh, ooh, I can ignite this, and then we'll be able to throw that at the core, basically. God, poison is so good. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's get you like right here. One shred. Oh, if you go that way, yeah, we get shredded a little. Okay, we're gonna move this way then. Two extra poison down on the core. Okay. This is this bellhop. We can just grapple you from here. 33% chance. Oh, you know what? Let's move up here. Yeah, I understand the risks. Let's get right up against these nurses. I don't like that batch be existing right there. Um, let's get right here and beat this up, I think. Okay, we don't have a good thing. Yeah, okay. Smack it. That's 10 damage. Uh, the Watchman is pinned, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I don't think that Batchman is going to be able to reach us, right? It can reach the Bellhop, but that's fine. Good. Two more damage. Eight damage. Okay, the main core is definitely going down here. Two extra damage out of Beller. Good, good. It's down. Okay, you're scanning, looking for things to heal, I'm guessing. Scythe, ooh. Oh, and it hits all around it, interesting. Okay, we're engaged, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's totally cool. I'm fine with that. There's the nurse moving back down there. This is honestly fine, because if you're moving down here, that means I can just move right past you uh, up to here. And see how much damage and stuff I can do to the cores. Barrage. That looks good. So yeah, the main core is down at this point. Squeeze. Uh, fire Lash. Let's do one of that. Good. Killed the nurse. Yeah, I mean, this is all going pretty well, I would say. Uh, let's have you swap weapons. That thing's poisoned, right? I actually don't know that it is. No, it is poisoned. Okay. So then we move you, Ardana, up here. And you get to shoot this. Ah, yes, this is going swimmingly. So it has two poison. If I move Evaner over here, Evaner can help even more. That thing is dead. Oral. Could get in and attack that. But it would put you in range of the Batch B, which I'm kind of scared of. Let's, uh. Move you over here. Can, can the Bash be reach you from there? No. Okay, so we're good there. We're good with you. That one's down. Only one more to go. Struck nurse. That's fine. Okay, and a butler spawned, but I I think we're just good. I think we're just good. Let's see here. Interfuse into this. Go ahead and cast a barrage. Boom. The bellhop. You can go and grapple this so it at least can't get anybody else. Uh. Kati. Ignite. Alternately, interfuse into this. And barrage. Yeah. There we go. Okay, Ardana. You can move over here. You don't have any... You do have a throwing axe left. God, the fact that those can apply the poison to is just... Mwah. Chef's kiss. Alright, Evaner. Let's finish this thing off, shall we? It's basically dead to the poison now, but... I'm gonna have Oral fly in all cool-like and deliver the final blow. 
Destroy the more foggy cores. I did that. Here we go. Run more. Ooh, yes, ignite. Once per combat, a swift action grant 50 stunt chance to allies within five tiles for one turn. That is phenomenal. Like, don't get me wrong, that is absurdly good. But this is also good for run more. Uh, Ardana gains one action point. Flash cone. With a flash cone that blinds enemies and deals five magic damage. Throw an ally, they'll be hidden. Draws back, come hidden on stun. Ambush is very good too. But I do like flash cone. The walk back out was darker. But the ceilings didn't collapse on us. And without their maddened voice to call them, the things that were once more thoggy fell still and silent. Some were burned, some were buried, and a few were repurposed. Oh, a farmer one! Whoops, I didn't mean to double click there. A farmer one. So what are you going to do now then? Yon green lands are a bit sour on mechanical folk at the moment. Be wise to lay low. What's another hundred years after all? God, I would go crazy. Sommelier? The end. Yeah. Interesting. Just having Rum War just kind of look at this thing. It's kind of like becoming a part of the environment, I believe. It's just like a, a corpse of one, and there's plants growing up in it now. The end. We did it! I won! Number of towns. Save tiles at ended game. Final years of peace. Total 150. War endured. Complete the enduring war campaign. Oral got up to see the sun rise every morning. Often he insisted on company. Why me though? Come on, Dad, just watch it with me. You can't take a single dawn for granted. Not anymore. You don't want to hang out with your son. <laughs> There's the turtle. Wow, this is amazing. Thanks for bringing me. We just get to see all our memories here. Remember that? And that? Evaner spent many a happy night in the tavern, enthralling the ladies with tales of his exploits. I remember about their unbreakable bones, totally false. Kathy's dream of his own personal research tower had finally been fulfilled. He kept it well stocked with flammable powders and a couple of summoning circles. And there are those two. Andra! We gotta put Andra in too. Jovan showed up one day as the new god of the uh, words on the tip of your tongue. I know what you want to ask. Don't. How did... Just don't. <laughs> okay. Curry's life ran its course in peace and honor, and after her death, a huge eagle with swirling patterns could be seen drifting over the lake for a few days before disappearing into the hills. One day, Romor awoke with a lightness in his step. I understand now, it all makes sense. He vanished for ten years and returned somehow unaged and full of sorrow. Romor is an interesting character because there's so many questions I have about him. Here we go. Ardana and Evener opened a tavern together in Chiefmore. Ardana built the walls thick and cozy, and Evener provided a warm drink to anyone who slunk in seeking solace. And that appears to be it. Alright. Cool. These heroes will be added to your legacy! Yes! Look at them all! We could get Millie back, we could get Andra- God, look at how many characters we get. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> And Evan Locke? Oh, that's neat. Okay, promote legacy hero. So, plus zero extra promotions from remaining legacy points. 10 LP per promotion, ended campaign with six. So, I get to do two. Choose a hero. Uh, the selected hero will move to the next legacy tier. And their new items, history, and abilities will go with them. The higher a hero's legacy tier, the more abilities the hero will come into a game with. Okay, who do I wanna... who do I wanna promote? I mean, okay, so I can't promote Curry or Millie. I feel like I have to promote Oral and Ardana. Like, they're they're so cool. I th ah, but <laughs> Andra's so cool too. <laughs> oh, this campaign had so many cool characters. <sighs> and their next legacy tier and their new items, history, and abilities will go with them. The higher a hero's legacy tier, the more abilities the hero will come in the game with. I feel like I gotta promote Oral. And then... Out of Ardana or Andra... Believe me, I loved Ardana. Like, 100% loved Ardana. The only reason I'm leaning towards Andra is because I also loved her. 
And she has the Sylvan thing going on, so... Elemental weapons unlocked. The elemental weapons you discovered this game have been unlocked and will now be available to craft in all future games. There we go! I guess next time we will be doing... Monarchs Under the Mountain, and I'm guessing these campaigns are gonna go a lot faster now that I've kind of gotten a- that was my first, like, real campaign outside of the tutorial, so we'll probably be able to move much faster now and things, so. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.